Okay. Hello and my comic book lovers and sons of bitches and wonder women that might be watching. Welcome to the 23rd and 24th comic book hauls of 2019. Now, we got some explaining to do. Because here we are in the third week of June and I haven't shown you guys any comics. It's been almost three weeks since my last video, and that was for the month of May, the last week of May, uh, and I haven't shown you anything this month. So I do apologize, but I can explain uh, for... I have a good excuse for one haul, and that's for haul 23, which is the first haul of June. We did not pick that haul up on the first week. On the first weekend of June. As you guys know, uh, my sister and I go during the weekend, Saturday usually, uh, to get our comic books at Undercity Comics. Big shout out for them because they're awesome. Um, her car was busted. She had to take her car in. It had to be, well not busted, but it had to be serviced and it was there all day. My sister only gets one day off, which is why we go every Saturday to get our comics. So we didn't get any comics that first week. I know, kind of sad, kind of tragic, terrible way to start the month. But no, we did not get our comics. Um, the 23rd haul, when they came out on that week. The second week, yeah, we got it. The second week we went, we had to get that haul and the haul that came out that week. So we got a double haul on that day. Now, I did not make the video then because, well, you know, you guys know why I'm procrastinate and I'm a potato. But anyway, uh, the result of um, not getting it is insane. If you're a major comic book collector like my sister and I are, uh, not getting your comics in one week and then going the following week to pick up both halls you come out with this shit that's right they had to get a whole box just for us <laughs> so again big shout out to Undercity Comics in Woodyard, California because man they are so cool for, to us for us they well they're so cool to us I don't know Let's show these bad boys off. We got a lot to show you. Now, unfortunately, everything's mixed up in in the, in the sense that I don't know what comes from the 23rd hall and I don't know what comes from the 24th. The only reason why this video isn't called the 23rd hall only is because I don't want to, you know, mess up, mess up on the numbers, whatever. It's just for 23 and 24. Um, the first week, this, more specifically, the first week of June and the second week of June. Now, I've rambled on and talked like an idiot enough. Let's show these things off. Just, again, nothing is in any particular order. It's mixed up. This is a two-week haul. Let's just call it that. How about that? Now, we actually do have some goodies, and I used to combine goodies and... Uh, comic books on the same video, or sometimes I would split them up. Um, I actually did not plan on showing you any of these goodies, but they're here, so I'm as well show them to you. Uh, we got some catches from uh, Harry Potter. Um, this is my sister wanted these, so whatever. Here we have, um, I don't even know, I think this is Hufflepuff? 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 I don't know, can you see it? I'm sorry about the glare. No, you, you, you ain't got no glare. This is, this is Hufflepuff, but what the hell is this? I can't even tell. I don't, I don't know the houses, guys. I'm sorry. I can't even read it. My eyes are so bad right now. Okay, so we have Hufflepuff right here. So, you know, it's just a collection of patches. We have uh, Gryffindor. I don't know what, the, you know, before you ask which house would I belong to, I have no idea. I like Harry Potter, but I'm not like crazy about it. Ravenclaw? 
and Slytherin. I know most people love Slytherin. So those are some patches that my sister picked up. Kind of cool, I guess. This, however, I know I'm like super, my skin looks super oily and shit. Deal with it. This, however, is something that we absolutely uh, are very happy to get. Um, wow, so cool. Just the box alone is cool. Uh, so we're definitely keeping the box. We have, for the 80th anniversary of Batman, we have yet another Batman Funko Pop. This is the 80th anniversary edition. It has uh, a battle round. He's holding a battle round. And the embossing of the numbers, the logo, everything, very slick, very shimmery. You probably can't see it on, on camera. But it's, it's, it's not your normal Funko Pop box, so, it's just a very cool addition to have, had to have it, hardcore Batman fan, we are, uh, fans, we are, so, we had to have it. Okay, so let's go ahead and show these things off, we, we're gonna be here a while, but I'm gonna try to speed through it as quickly as possible, and I do apologize for rambling on so much. Alright. So, let's go ahead and start out with this stack. Again, nothing is in any particular order. Uh, we have Catwoman number 12. I'm not sure how to hold these up. It's very tricky because I got lights here. So I hold it this way. That, actually, hey, that, that, that kind of works. Uh, see? See how we get the glare? So, number 12 of Catwoman. Uh, Catwoman, Jesus. And we do have a very cool variant, very retro, very cool, very cool, very cool. Um, let's slide them in here. Oh my god, there's so many. We have number six of Batman, The Batman Who Laughs. And uh, yet another creepy ass variant from that lineup. I don't know if I can control these from falling all over the place. Uh, we have number seven of the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Play to, play to the Prowler, so apparently the Prowler is back. I think if I hold it like that, it's perfect. Yeah, so I'm going to try to hold up every comic like that. We have number two of Batman and the Outsiders. We good? Yeah, we good. Ooh. Huh, this is a cool cover. Uh, number 23 of The Amazing Spider-Man. So apparently Hunter is finished. So, remember guys, I am behind on comics. I don't read them. I just collect them at this point. Number 19 of Uncanny X-Men. Number six of Old Man Quill. Number number four of Prisoner X. Number five of Major X. My arm is really so tired. Maybe if I alternate use my left arm. Number nine of X-Force. Number, oh my god, this variant is so badass. Okay, so we have, we have number 25 of Justice League and in comes the year of the villain. This is the prelude to that, to that story arc. The A cover is badass enough, which is really cool. Very, very slick. Uh, great artwork. But this variant though, look at that, look at that magical, beautiful variant, that is so cool. Uh, very much love how the Trinity is in the clouds, but, uh, you know, you got, oh, God, it's on a stupid name, Aquaman, Flash, Hawk, Girl, and I believe that's, uh, why, why can't I remember the other black, uh, 
Yeah, the black Green Lantern. Damn it, what's his name? Uh, I'm gonna hate myself for not knowing his freaking name. Oh my god, it's right here. One of the most famous. John? John something? Oh my god. We had number 23, 22 of Star Wars Adventures. I, I just don't know why I can't quit this comic. I should. I ain't gonna read it. Number 16, I'm so glad this is still going, of Eclipse. I'm glad, and yet I've only read two issues. And then number six, no, number 8 of 12, Dead Man Logan. Alright, oh my gosh. Let's see if I can take all these out. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god. Come on, hold them all. Whew. All right, all right. Let's hope we don't make a mess. Jesus. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. They're all good, okay. If, I don't know, if, you can't see what's going on here, so. Alright, uh, we have number five of uh, Vader Dark Visions. That's a really cool color. Gotta try to place it in here neatly. Uh, number 35 of Red Hood Outlaw. We did not get a variant this time around. They didn't pull one, and that's totally fine. The way I see it, if they don't pull the variant and we don't see it, then it wasn't meant to be. One less comic to get. Number 12 of My Man, Punisher, The Punisher. Number 1005 of Batman Detective Comics. Oh, and a very cool variant. I forgot about this. I honestly forgot about this variant, but it's really cool. Woo! Hmm, got some, uh, what is this? Actually, I think this is a one-shot. Yeah, Lady Death for Life. I don't know, it might be a one-shot, I'm not sure. Lady Death? We got Joe Gollum, uh, Occult Detective. The Conjurers, this is number two of five. Okay, now we have a whole bunch of goddamn Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. Jesus. Well, actually, it's, it's Buffy. Oh my god, it's all Buffy? Are you freaking serious? This is all, this is all Buffy? Jesus! My sister's a mega fan. Alright, we have number five of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and a whole bunch of variants. We have this, I'm assuming this is Angel, the interpretation of Angel. And then we have, these are always kind of cool, I will admit, these are kind of cool. Um, it's usually the same character. There they go, there they go, there they go! Ah, I'm falling! Shit! Hold on! Comics down! Comics down! Oh my god, hold on. Ay, ay, ay! So many of these. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> so we have two comic. we have two of the same character. One good, one bad. I don't know who this is, but we have this chick right here. And that's her good side. This is her bad side. But I think she looks kind of good being bad. Let's go ahead and toss those in there already. Uh, we'll toss these in there too. Kind of hard to balance stuff on my lap. Uh, woo, that's a... That's a freaky color. Simplistic but freaky. I like it. Uh, we have Angel. 
And we have uh, something from the Philippines. My sister explained to me that what they do with these variants is that they show slayers of the past. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to show the... Alright, we have number 12 of Superman. This next variant is very special. I think this is really cool. Beautiful homage to the... Uh, I believe the Thresher cartoons for, of the 1940s. That is so cool. I used to watch those. I used to have a VHS, a, a video of the whole collection of those shorts. I probably still have it somewhere, but it's probably like busted and melted and shit. Okay, then we have some Super Girl. Number 31, Super and of course, the very cutesy rootsy variants that they come out with. I do prefer the art gen variants they come out with, but those are cute too. We then have uh, number 10 of Justice League Odyssey, that's cool, and a cool variant of Jessica Cruz. I really like that character. I, I, I'm taking with that character. Alright, so I was on the fence about this, but then, uh, it's like, I see the name Bendis, and it's like, yeah, I should probably get that. And I do believe this is tied into Action Comics, which is beneficial for my sister to read. We have number one of Event Lodi- Lo- I knew I was gonna mess up the title. Event Lodi- Lodi- oh my god. You know what it is. It's such a cool name and I mess it up. Leviathan. Levi- Jesus. <sighs> and here's the variant. I don't know why I keep trying. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. So we have number 72 of The Flash. This is chapter 3 of year 1. These, these covers have been dope. They've been really great. However, this variant is spectacular. Really great variant there. Alright, so we got some Xenoscope. Can't go. Oh my god, this is all Xenoscope. And it's probably two titles, too. Oh, it's actually three. Okay. Alright, let's uh, show this one off. This is number two. A Dragon's Blood Legend of Sin- Sigurd. We got this re- cover right here. I never know which one is the variant and which one isn't. Oh, that's cool. I love the detail on that one. Yep. Dragon Blood or whatever the hell it is. I don't know what it is. Dragon's Blood. We have some Hell Child. This is number three of Hell Child Blood Money. Uh, so we got this cover right here. I just got the sudden urge for an ice cream sandwich. That's a weird thing to say on video, but I'm I'm saying that. And uh, that is another cover of Hell Child. Okay. Then we have number five. No, damn, four copies. Number five, Robin Hood Outlaw. This color right here. Cool. Cool color right here. Really want, out of all the Xenoscope stuff my sister gets, I really want to check this series out. There's a cover. Oh, what a handsome motherfucker. Oh. Ooh. Well, I'm not partnered, so I can cuss. If I, if I were. I can't believe YouTube is... Sen- People have to censor their videos in order to monetize them. That is just bullshit. Uh, oh my god, this guy, this, this guy actually looks like Billy Bob Thornton. Like, come on. He is not far off from Billy Bob Thornton. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Billy Bob even had a, a hairstyle like that in the movie. We're almost done. 
We got number 11 of Adventures of the Super Sons. I am trying to go as fast as I can, guys. I swear. 72 of Wonder Woman. And a pretty wicked ass variant. Wonder Woman 84, guys. I am very excited. It's gonna be a long wait. One year! What oh, is that, two one? Uh, three, number three, of the World of Realms, New Agents of Atlas. I have a feeling, I, I'm, I said it before, I feel like I'm making a mistake with this series. Um, I should have just stuck with the core story, but, yeah, it's Secret Wars all over again. Uh, we had number four of World of Realms, Journey into Mystery. Oh God, I know I'm gonna hate this one. I don't know why I'm getting these. Learn to say no. And then we have number five of World of Realms. Is this a good story, guys? Is anybody who likes to comment reading the World of Realms? Is it good so far? Because I ain't gonna get to it for a very long time. We have a one-shot Star Wars Age of Rebellion Luke Skywalker. Is that the only Star Wars? Okay, everything is mixed up. I know that's not the only Star Wars. Well, no, because I showed the Vader and then the, uh, the Adventures, which I know is a separate publisher, but you know. We are number two of Savage Avengers. I am probably going to jump into this. If I were to jump ahead, because I'm, I'm a little OCD with my comic book order, you know? I like to read what came before, but if I'm going to read something new, it's probably going to be this. Uh, we have number 62 of Harley Quinn. Oh my god, 62. The last issue I read was number 35. Got a lot. Got a lot to catch up on. And here's a variant. Not sure what she's... I can't see shit right now, guys. So if you want to read... I don't know if you can even see it. If you want to read what it says, go ahead and pause it. If you can make it out. Number, wait, number one? What the hell? Oh, it's an annual. Okay, okay. Annual of Guardians of the Galaxy. Number four of Domino's, Domino's Hot Shots. <clears throat> Domino's Hot Shots. Oy. Ah, almost spent it. Uh oh, what's going on here, man? Deathstroke, RIP. Number 44, but part one of this arc, so I have a feeling that they're gonna end this comic. Does anybody know? Ooh, pretty wicked variant. Why am I saying wicked all of a sudden? Wicked! Yet yeah, another, well, okay, it's a tie in. But it's a regular series. Number 13, a Deadpool with it being a World of Rounds tie in. That's badass. I've seen Deadpool with a big sword and shield like that. That's awesome. Alright, we have some deceased people. Number two of how many? Five? Six. Alright, so we have deceased. Don't, 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 don't. We have the Superman cover. Very happy to have that. Sure, it freaked my sister out. And this I'm particularly fond of. Um, so apparently they're going to do this with each uh, one. Um, but it does remind me of, of uh, when, when DC first made the, um, the variants look like like, uh, or inspired from famous movie posters. So we have, oh my god, this is so awesome. I want to kiss it. Look at that. 
If you know your horror, if you know your movie posters, you should have no problem uh, figuring out what this is based on. It's not on Elm Street. Almost done, I swear to goodness. Alright, so we have number 12 of Tony Stark Iron Man being a World of Realms tie-in. Another World of Realms tie-in, number 15 of Venom. See, Venom is a comic I should definitely let go. I'm not going to get into that again. Uh, number 72 of Batman. God, this is almost... Shit, this is almost over, too. And, uh, you know... I... I, I really should have passed on this variant. I don't know, I'm not... I'm not feeling this variant, chat. Chat. Talking like I'm on my stream. Uh... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. What do you think of the, of the Batman variant of this week? I, mm, I don't know. I feel like I let that go. And finally, finally, number two, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. And a really cool variant as well. Best thing about showing this off is that I can actually tell you I have finally started issue number one of, you know, the first arc. I even... Man, I'm dropping shit. I have it right here. I have started it. I, I read this one, number one. And I gotta tell you, man, the artwork and just the way it's playing out so freaking great dream come true alright guys I have talked to you ears off enough I'm gonna make this short thank you for watching please give this video a like if you've made it to this point leave any comments down below if you would like or if you have anything you want to say or add to the conversation um follow my social media links Instagram and Twitter very active on both of those and most definitely please follow me on Twitch where I stream Monday through Thursday for sure and weekends to be announced. Um, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry that I was super late showing these off. And I'm sorry that this is a super long video. If, again, you have made it to this point. Uh, none of that. And I'm tell you too old to collect comic books because if they do, motherfucking Batman's going to have something to say about it, you know? Alright guys, peace out, see you when I see y'all.